we have about uh, 7 million students in general education. And many people is out of school and they want, I know that there are many people that can afford to have a seat at school, but we cannot afford to build schools for everybody. So once we have mobile learning in place, uh, everywhere in the rural areas, I think that there is a, there is a great need of mo mobile learning. And once we have enough resource, because one of the problems and constraints we have is uh, the financial or lack of financial resource as a poor country uh, that we are. But there is a great potential. As a poor country, we don't have the possibility of having electricity everywhere. So uh, we have to face mobile uh, learning uh, or we have to distribute equipment as phones. For that, we can share with the telephone companies and we are already doing that with Movitel, Vodacom, MCL, that are the telephone companies we have at home. Uh, another s issue is the distance. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, a good network of uh, uh, internet, and it is a challenge for us to have the internet in place. So, uh, if we want to uh, put mobile learning in place, probably we have to work with other stakeholders to help the Minister of Education, to help the Minister of Science and Technology uh, to solve these problems of electricity, of uh, uh, roads, even roads for going to some place in our country. It's difficult to reach some place of our country, especially uh, where people are poor, where people cannot afford to have a school. And I think that the great need of mob mobile country is there. And we cannot reach those places. So we have to make a partnership with those who can help us to reach those places in terms of internet, in terms of telephone uh, network, in terms of having good roads to go there because we need to assist people. It's not a case of uh, selling phones or putting phones there, but you have to assist those people with uh, uh, the devices and everything. Uh, I think that this is the, one of the major uh, challenges we, we face. Another challenge we can face is that we, have, uh, st we still have an illiteracy rate that is high. So to uh, read a message, if, even if the message comes by phone, you must read, you must know how to write and read. So we have to solve the problem of illiteracy to spread the M-learning. This is uh, the first step. Uh, fortunately, during the lunchtime we, we had a talk and something must be done soon to bring the ministries of education, ministry of science and technology together to think about what to do in the different countries. And I think that it's good because this is the first uh, approach, but something must be done. We, go, we must go forward, not to keep talking, but doing things that make us to put in place what was discussed during this meeting. And for that, we must bring the politi politicians to m be aware that there is a great need of doing something in our countries. 
I am aware that the dif difficulties are different dif from country to country. But something must be done. And even in my country, that is a poor country, you know, Mozambique is not a, a rich country. We already are doing something, but I think that much more can be done with the resource we have in place. But we must put science and education talking together.